So we have had a pretty rough 24 hours or so. Welcome back to Homeward Bound RV. This is part two of our Colorado video. I hope you enjoy. took the back way to Breckenridge um, and it's definitely the back way it was through the mountain pass it was, that was scary it was pretty <laughs> sketch yeah there had been a lot of snow um, there were you know a hundred and or maybe 230 degree turns like really really huge turns going downhill two lane with our 41 foot rig and 22 foot truck so um yeah it was it was a little scary not as scary as leaving Breckenridge but yeah that's true not as scary as what ha it happened again yep right? and and then um yeah we went skiing we saw another one of my cousins that lives in Denver and we had an amazing spot we backed right up to the Blue River mm -hmm. in a resort I mean it was truly a resort we are uh, in Breckenridge at Tiger Run RV Resort, which is a pretty cool place. Uh, we back to the Blue River. We got amazing mountain views, um, a big brick fireplace, but it's covered in snow right now. So um, we had a <clears throat> we were in Colorado Springs at Cheyenne Mountain State Park, which was absolutely gorgeous. And then we moved over to Breck. And uh, while we were at uh, Cheyenne Mountain State Park, we got, you know, probably 12 inches of snow or whatever. So quite a bit of snow. And then we got snow through the night last night. Um, we've been doing this now for four months. And <laughs> in the last 24 hours, I've made two major mistakes. My first two major mistakes. The first one was when we got to um, Tiger Run RV Resort. I was hooking everything up, hooking the water up, and got distracted. Um, had my cousin and his family show up and uh, started doing other things. And I forgot to shut the door to the water bay and didn't shut it all night. So we had my water pressure regulator froze, the filter froze, all of which was inside the bay, but froze, so um, yeah, no fun. Uh, had to fix that. And then um, I pulled away from the RV in the tow vehicle and uh, huh, pulled the power cord out because I didn't disconnect it. So two big uh, mistakes. We drove to Ski Cooper this morning for the second day in a row to go skiing and I got an alert that the power was disconnected or that the well I got an alert that our ring alarm had lost power so we have two dogs right so I'm concerned that hey there may be an issue um, so I dropped them off at Ski Cooper which is an hour from Breckenridge and turned around and got back well power wasn't out I had full power the issue was I had turned off our cellular networks and was going purely off the Wi-Fi at the park because the Wi-Fi there is actually pretty good averaging where we're at like seven or eight megabits per second which is certainly workable um, of course with at and I'm getting 50 or 60 megs per second but I, don't, I didn't need it I'm on vacation right now um, we're like I took off work and we're on vacation here in Breckenridge so like I don't need it I don't watch TV really um, and I'm not working so it wasn't a big deal and I figured my kids could 
download stuff to their Xbox or whatever on the, you know, using the Parks Wi-Fi instead of our data. So anyway, um, that was the issue. The uh, the Wi-Fi for the park <laughs> had gone down. So um, yeah, there wasn't really an issue. Um, so anyway, I turned the Wi-Fi off and uh, hooked up to our to our cellular networks, and now everything's fine and connected. But it screwed up my skiing. Uh, I don't get to ski, so uh, well, I, I I will, but I just lost like you know two and a half, three hours. I had to walk the dogs and button stuff up while we were there. So, yeah, kind of kind of crappy start to the day, but that's all right. It's all about attitude, right? So, we figured we'd do a ski cooper for a number of reasons. Obviously, we're in Breckenridge, so there's a bunch. I mean, Copper Mountain is not far away. There's all the ski lifts in Breck. In fact, there's one directly next door to Tiger Run RV Resort. But ski cooper is substantially cheaper than all of those. Um, and my kids and my wife have never skied before. So I figured it made a lot more sense to pay 40% of the price for the bunny slope uh, because if we went to Breckenridge, we'd be paying way more and they're just gonna sit on the bunny slope anyway. So, uh, and my cousin recommended this place, he's with us. And actually my other cousin, um, that lives in Denver came down to meet us too and I haven't even got to see him yet I know he's there so pretty awesome um, but yeah it you know it's it's not ideal to drive you know two hour round trip um, when you're so close but the place is cool it's a cool mountain it's not very crowded it's not expensive um, and the slopes are really nice so uh, we're very pleased with it Gregory and I are on the snow lift. Say hi. hi. We are headed up the mountain. Woo! Hey, it's all good. He's feeling a little uneasy about the whole thing. There's Matthew Stanford up there. What are you talking about? I just got on top. You can get on top. Just move your leg. Oh, don't push on me. I, I just have one. I'm hanging one down. All right, let's. Gregory, what do you think about skiing? Fun if you're on the bunny slope. It might be fun here. Look how slow they're going. Look at that. Huh? They're, close. they're what? No, they're not. That's a like a five-year-old kid, eight-year-old kid. Look how look how slow these people are. It's like wide open. Right? It's so, it's gonna be super easy.
and it, it really was awesome. And actually, we not only saw my cousin from Denver and my cousin from Colorado Springs, but uh, as well, we saw our friends, Mike and Ashley, and um, Pitco. and Pitco, and uh, it was it was really cool. It was a great time. Um, we did go to Keystone for uh, snow tubing. fishing and um, yeah Matthew Greg and Gregory all went ice fishing that was super neat yeah and we caught trout and um, and then we ate it so we all good. Good. root beers all over the place <laughs> I, root beers all over the place I think I might have another whiskey slug yes do it have as many as you want that's what they're for yeah I'm about to cut my can in yeah I'm gonna get a little bit of footage Gregory how'd it feel to catch your first fish bro I mean like all the way First fish. It's your third fish, but to catch it was setting the hook and everything. Yeah, how's it feel? So we're out here ice fishing with an awesome guy. What was your name again? Andrew. Andrew. That's right. That's right. Out at the Dillon Reservoir. Andrew's awesome. Got a auger. We got holes everywhere. Cool, cool people. We got this tent, which we don't really need to use because it's not too cold. We got this camera here that's down there and looking for fish. Pretty awesome. Got a couple holes in here that we could fish in here if we wanted to. So it's been pretty cool. We've caught a bunch of fish so far, more to come. Beat him up. 
Yummo. Yeah. Woo! Hey, Gregory, come here. Lift that up. Lift that up. Or just open. Open. No, just open. Yeah, it was. It was cool. We had a good time. Um, when we were leaving. Uh, it was a little unfortunate. We were on I-70, uh, where the speed limit's like 75 miles an hour, and um, it's it's two lane, you know, it's four lane total, right? So two lane each direction. And- It was three lanes. No. Okay. I mean, may, I don't think so. Because we were blocking a major lane We were, we were blocking a lane, but I, I remember it wasn't, I didn't feel like- I have it on video, was, so yeah. we can see. Yeah. We'll, we'll but, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we were, you know, going down and the truck says, you know, reduce engine power. And because of the grade that we were on going up a mountain, we were heading on, we were on I-70 going towards the Eisenhower Tunnel going towards Denver. And we were dead in the water. I couldn't move. Um, couldn't, the truck would not move the rig whatsoever. We weren't the only ones either. There was a, an 18-wheeler about half a mile behind us who had the same issue happen to him. So it honestly, in a way, was lucky for us because traffic was already paying attention to him slowing down and getting over and then seeing us in front of him, you know, uh, it was it probably blocked some, I don't know, I was really nervous that somebody was gonna hit in, like the behind us and, and knock us over the mountain. It, it scared me pretty bad, actually. She was freaking out. I she was, was definitely freaking, freaking out. out. And then the reception wasn't very good. So, oh, it was horrible. So trying to call um, a tow truck or, or a mobile mechanic to come regen us on the highway, it was nearly impossible. Well, and we just got lucky. The guy was already there uh, helping that 18-wheeler. Yep. So he pulls up in front of us, and he hooks a hook into the front of my truck. He says, put it in neutral and stay behind me. Our engines in, we're in neutral, which is really bad for the truck to go in there. And he literally pulled our whatever it is, 23, 24,000 pounds up the mountain, um, all the way to the top where the opening of the Eisenhower Tunnel. And, and you know what guys, the guy was serious. He said, hey listen, from here on out, it's mostly downhill. I think you guys can just coast all the way to Denver. But we, we weren't gonna do that. And another guy recommended we just spend the night there, which I was actually fine with, but Lauren was wasn't. So we ended up finding a guy, it took like six hours. A guy finally came out. And like we, you know, in the in the prior video, if you haven't seen that before, you can go back and check it out. I'll try and figure out how to put a card on here of that prior video, but uh, it was the exact same issue. So we had a guy come out and do a region on the truck, and we were supposed to be staying at the Gunsmoke RV park in yeah, gun, in super in, disappointing. in Dodge City, Kansas. Now, if you guys don't know us that well. We love Gunsmoke. We watch Gunsmoke almost every night as a family. I'm afraid I'd have to have some proof of that. And, you know, Marshall Dillon and Chester Good are, 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 are part of the family. And so we were pretty excited to go, but, you know, we were six hours behind, basically. So we ended up staying at... Limon? Limon, Limon. Colorado. Uh, if we butchered that, we apologize. We did. We, did. we showed up late. Um, you know, at night at a KOA, we got there like 10 p.m. We pulled in and didn't even hook up sewer or water or anything. I just hooked up the power real quick. We went to sleep and we were gone by 4.30 in the morning. Yep. So that was the best 80 bucks they ever made. <laughs> um, it was like crazy expensive for what it was. So we have had a pretty rough 24 hours or so. We got out of Tiger Run a little bit later than expected. 
we got on 70 um, going up the mountain to go through the Eisenhower Tunnel towards Denver because uh, we were trying to get to Gunsmoke <clears throat> RV in, uh, in uh, Dodge City, Kansas. We were excited about that. But the truck doesn't seem to be regenning on its own anymore for some reason. And so <clears throat> we, uh, yeah, we had to sit on the side of the mountain for hours until <clears throat> finally um, we got a mobile mechanic who was able to come and hook his computer up and do a forced regen. So. But we were on the side of the mountain. It was pretty scary. Baby, you want to tell them how scary it was? <laughs> All right, well, she was freaking out. Um, anyway, and then uh, we only got probably three hours outside of there. We were about 90 miles east of Denver. We stayed at a KOA. Nice place. We got there at night and left before it was light. Uh, got up at 4.45 this morning and was on the road. We are now in a blue beacon line because we need to wash pretty awful. Uh, there's the mirror, if that gives you any indication. Maybe you can see the truck in that mirror. But yeah, we're here, we're in line there. The kids are chilling, the dogs are chilling. Um, we look like crap, we didn't shower, we were just so tired we went to bed. Um, and we're doing a crazy long drive today, long, way longer than I would ever want to, but we're driving to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City, like north of there, Edmond. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's like a nine hour drive. We still have six and a half left, but we really needed a truck wash. So anyway, huh. always got to look at the bright side. So we appreciate you guys. Oh. Thank you. What do you mean? It's good to get bloopers. Lauren says your glasses are bloopers. Turn it. <laughs> we're obviously doing this from the keys, so this is like almost a year ago we're talking about, but you know. Hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> We're sorry we haven't got more videos out, but we'll start putting them out more often. I promise. We hope. <laughs>